Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a fun coffee review for you. So today I'm going to be reviewing the Toddy Cold Brew System. And basically what this is, is it's a cold brew system so you can create your own cold brew concentrate. So what it comes with is first kind of like this brewer right here. And this is where we're going to put the coffee grounds and the water to let it sit. And then it also comes with the glass container to keep our cold brew concentrate in. And basically, again, this is going to be cold brew concentrate, so you'll want to water this down with either ice, milk, water, whatever your preferred method is. So what I thought would be cool to go through in this video is the two different methods and compare them both and show you the results from each one. So basically, there's two methods. The first method is called dual filtration. So for that method, you're going to use one of these paper filters that it comes with, as well as the felt filter. And this little felt filter that it comes with just fits in the bottom of the top part of the cold brew <laughs> maker. Um, just fits nicely in the bottom and I'll zoom in and show you that in just one second. The second method is where you don't use one of the paper filter bags, you just use the felt filter in the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to brew my coffee both ways and show you the differences between the two. I thought this would just be a fun thing to review. I did receive this as a gift for Christmas, so I'm very excited to try it and see how it goes. So let me turn the camera around. I'll be trying method two today first. So first I'm just gonna try it with the reusable felt filter, and then I'll go back the second time and I'll try it with the paper bag as well. So I'm gonna be trying method two today, which is just the reusable felt filter. So what I need is 12 ounces of coarse ground coffee and then seven cups of water. So all I've done so far is I just have the top part of the system. And then I've just put the little holder around the outside. I'm gonna plug the bottom, make sure nothing comes through. Now this is the coffee I'm gonna be using today. I didn't wanna risk it and use like a really expensive coffee my first time. So this is just Folgers House Blend, medium roast, and this actually only has 10.3 ounces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of flavored coffee as well, just to get up to that 12 ounces that it requires. So that's what the little scale is here for. So the first thing it's telling me to do is to wet my filter and then place it in the bottom of my cold brew system. Next up, I need to add one cup of water to the bottom of my cold brew system. Next up, it says add six ounces of the ground coffee. Okay, so I have just about six ounces of coffee in there. Now I need to add three more cups of water. So now it tells me to wait five minutes before I add any more coffee or water. So it's been just about five minutes now. So now I'm supposed to add in the rest of my grounds and then another three cups of water. It's very particular too that it says don't stir it, but press down on the grounds so that they all become wet. So now I'm just gonna place the lid on this and then it's three o'clock right now in the afternoon. So I'm gonna check back on this tomorrow morning when I wake up and that should be right around the 18 hour mark. To clean the system, the first thing I did is I just took a plate and I dumped all the coffee grounds onto the plate. I did this method because I didn't want to use a trash can or anything like that and then have my felt reusable filter fall into it, so I was trying to prevent that, so I used a plate. Then once I got all the coffee grounds out, the felt filter was a little stuck, so I just poked that out. I found using one of my metal straws works great. Lastly, I just used a spoon to scoop out any of those remaining coffee grounds, as many as I could get so I didn't clog my sink. And then lastly, I was able to just clean it up regularly, so I just used a sponge and some soap. 
And I ran the felt filter under water as well to get that nice and clean. So I just finished drinking that full first one using the second method where it's just the wet filter. And it's actually really cool. There are no coffee grounds in the bottom. So that filtration method alone works really, really well. It's a bit of a mess to clean, but I only, basically this took me a week and a half to drink. So if you only have to clean that every week and a half, I feel like that's a really good option. So now I'm going to clean everything up and then I'm going to try the other method, which is where you use one of the paper filter bags in addition to the felt filter. So in the kit, you get three of these and then they are available for purchase separately as well. So I'll link these down below if you're curious to see how much they cost. But I'm curious to see how much easier this makes it um, to clean up and also just to put in the pitcher because there are definitely fewer steps for this method. So to start off here, I already wetted my filter. I'm gonna add in the filter bag. And for this one, you just add all of your coffee and then all of your water at once. So it makes it a little bit simpler. So I'm gonna add in my 12 ounces of coffee. And now I'm gonna add in the seven cups of water. Just gotta make sure, remember to plug the bottom. Now I'm just gonna stir the coffee grounds just a little bit to make sure they all get wet. Push them down into the water. Now I'm gonna twist the top of the bag. You can already see the coffee around the sides. Now I'm gonna put the lid on. So now again, I'm gonna let it sit overnight. I did wanna to mention too, I wouldn't really recommend this handle for really anything at all. It's not sturdy. <laughs> it's easier to just pick up the whole thing. So from this method, I actually feel like I got a little bit more coffee. So let me turn around to the other side. Yeah, I feel like the other time it was like somewhere in the middle of this caution label was how much liquid I got. So that is quite a bit more and it also drained a lot faster. This will also be much easier to clean up because I can just throw out this whole bag. I'll probably just let it sit here for a bit longer because you can see when I just moved it, a little bit more came out. Cleaning with the two filters was much simpler. All I had to do was dispose of the bag with the coffee grounds in it. And then I just removed the felt filter, ran that under some water, and then also just cleaned up the canister real quick as well. So my overall thoughts on the system are honestly, I give this a 10 out of 10. It is a little bit pricey, but the coffee tastes so smooth. And like I was only using a $3 thing of Maxwell House coffee or Folgers, I can't remember now. Um, but like the coffee tasted so high quality, so smooth. And if you actually calculate like how much it would cost to go out and get cold brew versus making your own, this is incredibly cost effective. For the two actual systems of making it, so first just using the felt filter, it is a bit of a pain to clean but you only have to clean it like once every week and a half or so, depending on how much coffee you drink. So that's really not bad at all. It also feels a little less, less wasteful than using like one of these cloth bags or paper bags, sorry. The paper bag is gonna be a little bit easier to clean out. Um, so if you prefer that method, I'd say go for it. It does tend to make a little bit more coffee, just from what I found here. We're already almost above the toddy label. But overall, I would definitely recommend this. I would say it tastes really good. I'm excited to try this with other coffee blends and just see how it goes. So if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave those down below. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. I'll see you next time.